what's going on toxic gamers today we got another situation to talk about oh man for the last few days man people going crazy with the doctor disrespect situation we talked about it right a lot of people think he's guilty a lot of people think he's not guilty but this video is not about him right we all saw what nick merck said dr lupo went crazy as well but today we're gonna keep it a little chill we're gonna keep it light-hearted as well today we got the call of duty d riders okay we got the call of duty bbc bundle riders as well we got the call of duty Friendly. okay we got call of duty refugees as well today boys and we got call of duty fans as well right call of duty haters call of duty refugees we got everybody today okay and people are not stopping like the video if you just want good games like the video if you love your mama like the video if you love god dislike the video and that's gonna be a sin folks i'm warning you immediately okay but with that holy smoke is it ain't no jokers okay four years okay shout out to the homie near shenema well this they literally fun. said in their blog post that if you take damage within the first three seconds of your spawn that is what they consider to be a bad spawn okay then why am i being spawn killed constantly that dude just spawned in and i'm putting bullets into him wait for like, it how are you gonna say you want people not to be into a gunfight these dudes just spawned here it's a reward it's uh <laughs> it's part of the beta brother i just spawned here with a grenade at my feet it, it's a bonus gift uh, from activision four years Trey. you should be thankful bro like i'm seeing a lot whole lot of ungrateful ass people i mean damn what's up with that man that was a free grenade you should be thankful that activision did not charge your ass 20 dollars for that bruh come on man for four years i just spawned Treyarch. Let the brother live. Four I, years. Least, uh, yeah. Four years. Four years. <laughs> and how many deaths? This is why Vonderhaar left. He saw where they were going. Hey, yo, hey, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Brother, brother, you got a tranquilo, papi. Is everybody having fun here at Black Ops 6 so far? I've got to tell you, this beta has been just an absolute roller coaster for me, man. I mean, the spawns here on the new map Babylon are absolutely horrendous. Now, obviously, it's a beta, right? Everyone's going to say it's a beta. These things can be fixed, and that is true. But was this stuff <laughs> even tested? And also, why does a map... Nope like Babylon even exist in the first place for 6v6, right? It's basically just a larger shipment with somehow worse spawns, which makes no sense whatsoever. It's the size of a strike map, and yet it counts. It's Call of Duty, brother. It's Call of Duty, man. Call of Duty has always been like that. But listen, man, a lot of fellas, I feel like that, are about to agree with me hard, okay? And before you're like, nah, she's like, I, 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 I'm not gonna agree. Listen, okay, listen here, smarty pants. At least this has been better than Concord and dust mode <laughs> you see now you agree right come on man guys at least like I i'm just saying man i'm just saying at least this has been better than dust Morn and better than concord tell me that ain't the goddamn truth okay tell me that right now in the chat at least has been better than concord though you know as one of the 6v6 maps in the game Treyarch themselves have said that there are basically going to be no big maps in the game they focus entirely on small to medium sized they lied they lied they always lie bro they always lie they lied so what man so what they lied bro maps and why why are these maps so ridiculously they small lie. like there's no thought that goes into any of these maps you know what i mean like this game's maps are designed like the tiktok algorithm to keep you dopamined up constantly it's like these maps are designed for ipad children with add like they're just constant run 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 kill 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 <laughs> and then the balancing like don't even get me started on the balancing uh, I, I mean to be fair though like uh, uh, that's not even worse bro I i've heard uh, stuff even far worse right right and, and some of you are probably gonna try to one up once i say it uh, we heard that like the maps that are being made by ai though right like uh yeah recently we discovered that suckers over at activision like i don't even know what this suckers doing man four years four thousand devs and you would think that they would come up with something revolutionary right like something crazy now to be fair though like now, I, I, I ended up getting the beta code from the homie Tom Henderson. He put it up on Twitter. I ended up, uh, I, it was 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning, give or take, somewhere around that. I mean, damn, my memory's foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom, so do not know exactly what time it was. 4 or 5 in the morning, right, right, exactly, okay? So saw the beta code he put up on his timeline, and you know what? I tried it out, and, and it did work. And I ended up downloading, I tried the beta, and I kind of had a, a fun time. I personally enjoyed it. I thought it was better than Concord. I thought it was better than Dustborn. You can disagree if you want to, but uh, yeah, I kind of enjoyed it, but you would think four years, 
फोर ईयर्स इन उर्दू रियल क्वेक अगर ऐसा है यार ये मच्छर कॉलोनी के भड़वे भी होंगे ना वो भी ऐसा चुतियापा नहीं करते जैसे इन भैंस हो इन्होंने चुतियापा किया ये मादर चोट के बच्चों ने सब मिलके हमें पागल बना रहे बिग गई गवर्नमेंट बिग गई गवर्नमेंट बिग गई एक्टिवेशन सब बिग गई लेडीज एंड जर्मन Yeah, we heard that circus were using AI to make even the micro transactions. And you want to know what's funny? A lot of people then thought that what if this uh, a a a a a a a a really? Uh, then real quick, people thought that, and people started assuming. You know, like people always assume, right? Like people always assuming. People started assuming that what if the AI also made that friendly UAV online bundle, man? And, and listen, man. You never know. These suckers might have used the AI to make that and sell it. They made it for free with AI and sold it for twenty dollars right there. Yeah, that's what. That's how we. That's business, my guy. That's business, man. That's business. Thing that we've had to experience so far. They did claim that they wanted these maps to be small but still large enough for meaningful decisions to be made. But right now, it seems like the only meaningful decisions the players can make are: Do I shoot at the guy that's butt sliding towards me or the guy who's circus diving at me? Because no matter what, I'm gonna die. But I guess I can try to take the butt slider out with me. Like the Black Ops Six multiplayer. experience so far feels like it was designed to be an absolute junk food game you know what i mean like just feeding players kills and deaths constantly to be fair though call of duty has always been the mcdonald's of video games though right it always has been like that but back in the days of course the maps were good and uh, the devs cared about it nowadays you hear like oh it's being made by ai bro it's being made by ai phil spencer also fired 1900 devs after saying that they're going to be making you know as soon as we get activision guys it's going to be good man it's going to be good all right let me just fire all of you suckers out <laughs> let me just fire all of you suckers so he did that But uh, yeah, so I think AI is gonna be pretty rampant. Back in the day, Sega did care, but Call of Duty has always been fast, fa fast pace, junk food like McDonald's. The only thing we're missing right now is the streaks, right? Like kill streaks and good maps. Uh, I would say. It, 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 and to be fair though, like I enjoyed my time, but it does not. I have to agree though, it does not feel like a four year. For your game, though, like people expected better, I expected better for sure. For sure. Numbers popping up everywhere. No real thought or any real player input necessary. In fact, I think Time and Space over on Reddit summarized the Black Ops Six multiplayer perfectly. Spawn run grenade boom 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 kill die grenade boom spawn run kill boom run kill kill die spawn behind boom grenade run run kill jump slide kill grenade die spawn run boom boom slide kill jump die spawn behind kill grenade no boom, boom there, jump right? die spawn run grenade yeah, boom man. boom boom so Now I know the passions air, run right? high during every Call of Duty beta. I'm guilty of that myself. Like I care about this franchise. I want it to be good. But what I see here in Black Ops Six is the opposite of what I hoped the game would be like. I don't think it's out of line to say that this seems to be one of, if not the worst, betas in Call of Duty history to a lot of fans out there. The tiny maps combined with the incredibly thick skill-based matchmaking on top of the packet burst. I, 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 we, we need to gather. Everybody gather up. Okay, gather up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We need to get uh, everybody gotta get together right now. Okay, I, I need to see everybody on this one immediately. Okay, do you think this has been the worst beta of all time? What in the comments if you think it's the worst beta ever? Be it, it, to be honest though, like I, I don't mind. Okay, whether you love it or you hate it, listen, man. Everybody's opinions are highly appreciated. Everybody's allowed here. I welcome everybody with the open arms. Uh, Uh, no homo first of all I, i i welcome everybody with open arms i welcome everybody from all walks of life you love it you love it you hate it you hate it man damn man i'm not gonna like clown on you i'm not gonna say you're a bbc rider you're a call of duty d rider refugee i welcome everybody like in the intro i said right like what's going on toxic gamers what's going on call of duty refugees Bruh. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's welcome here right but one in the comments if you think it sucks two if you think it's amazing right I want to know where you guys at. I want to know where you guys at. I, I think it's better than Conquer. I think it's it has been better than Dustmore. That's where I'm at. You know, I'm I'm a simple man. I I try to be uh, you know I try to enjoy. I try to enjoy. You know, and if you enjoyed the beta, well, you enjoyed the beta because uh, this is probably the best version you're gonna get because when the game comes out, oh man, if you think skill based matchmaking is bad now. Wait till the game comes out. Wait till people actually buy it, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait till the game comes out, man. They're gonna be showering those uh, $20, $30 bundles, EOMM, skill-based mentoring, and it's gonna be dirty, though. 
It's gonna be just happening all the freaking time. The server desync making for such an inconsistent, messy, and buggy experience. Like everything about the Black Ops 6 beta is just not working, essentially. Which again, it's a beta. Oh, That's kind of the, the whole club, point. Bro. But also the real point of a beta is to give that player feedback and make these issues known so that the developers can get to work on it before the game comes out. Problem is they drop the betas typically like one month before the game is supposed yeah. to release. And if this is what they cooked up in it's not a beta guys like people always say it's a beta it's a beta now i get that like uh weapons tuning is gonna be a bit different uh, and probably spawn problem might get fixed right maybe let's see let's we'll find out right like four years four thousand devs maybe they're gonna be able to fix it. <laughs> maybe they're gonna be able to fix it but but make no mistake this was this is not a beta this is a demo guys like come on man like Call of Duty uh, uh, betas are usually demos. This is what you're gonna get. If you love this, hey, that's awesome, man. That's what you're gonna get. But keep in mind, skill based mentoring and EOMM microtransactions gonna be ramped up to 11, though. Four years. I'm not overly convinced that they're gonna be able to fix everything in one month. It might be another situation mm -hmm. where we've seen in previous years where a Call of Duty game comes out, it's buggy as shit, and then it takes like six months for them to finally get everything running and get everything sorted. But by that point, most people are bored of the game, most people moved on from the game, and then the Call of Duty cycle starts anew once the next COD title gets announced. Yeah. I will say this year's- and, and next year it's gonna be like Black Ops 2 Remake, so the hype is real! Hype is real, everybody. Everybody. And by the time like seconds start to be like, okay, man, okay, finally the fix it, finally the fix it, we're gonna be on the next one, man. <laughs> it always is like that, man. That's taxes, and a new Call of Duty game is promised every year going to be a bit different in terms of content, right? The number of maps that we have at launch, the number of weapons at launch is going to be pretty good. Having mm -hmm. prestige mode, having 100% there, like having things to grind for in the game and things to do outside of just logging and play is going to make the game feel a lot better for sure. Okay. Right now, what okay. we have here is just a beta where you level up to 30, which doesn't really take that long. But if you ask most people, it takes entirely too long because they don't even want to get to level 30 because it's just an absolute chore. But the point still stands. It's I a agree. beta. There's not a lot to the game. There's no real progression there's no real anything it's just running around and experiencing the same couple of maps over and over mm -hmm. and having the same experience over and over thanks to skill-based matchmaking damn man he's making he's making me hate it too now to be fair though i did enjoy my time and, and that's not because of call of duty it's just that like usually i listen to a lot of podcasts right so when i listen to podcasts i just recline my chair Bruh. you know i just like close my eyes i just try to like chill relax right but uh during the bed i was like listen to the podcast and game at the same time so i'm playing without the audio so i'm not sure whether it's like call of duty call of duty I, I all i know is that like i wouldn't be able to enjoy call of duty just by playing it like that right like i would get bored pretty fast but listening to podcasts watching youtube videos in the background and playing at the same time oh man i loved it i personally loved it though i personally loved it let me know your thoughts i, I and genuinely though even if i was not listening to podcasts and i was just playing i think the game has been better than this one though you know you you feel what i'm saying the game is better than concord guys the full launch i'm sure will be better but what we have right now with how buggy this game is and all the issues and all the feedback coming back from the community it just seems like barely anybody's enjoying the game and i might be part of an echo chamber here but when i'm browsing reddit like just look at the titles of like everything this is not cherry picked or nothing like this is just the black Ops 6 subreddit Read the titles as I scroll down here. Is anybody actually enjoying the game? There's one or two posts I did see where people are talking about how they like the game, but most of the time it's just negative feedback. The spawns are garbage. The game runs terribly on most people's PCs. The game's running terribly on people's- God, HQ is stupid. The realest thing this man said. I salute to this brother out here. I salute to this man. Yeah, Call of Duty HQ gotta go, man. There are certain things that gotta go, that gotta go. If you gotta go, you gotta go, man. Xboxes and Playstations. Skill-based matchmaking is cranked up to infinity. Every match feels the same. The Call of Duty HQ is one of the worst ideas in gaming. But do you know why the facts, Call of Duty HQ facts. is there, ladies and gentlemen? For the shareholders, for the investors, mm. pretty much. Because every year now, when Call of Duty does their big announcements about how much Holy. money they make and how many microtransactions they're selling and how many people are playing the game on a monthly basis, they're not just counting the... Treyarch, can we please get a reduction in reload speed? They don't match the flow of a match at all. Damn! 
So a lot of people are mad, okay? I thought that people were not this mad. I, I genuinely still want to know your thoughts. In terms of zombies, man, they, they kill zombies, bruh. But multiplayer-wise, I gotta say it's better than Concord. Like, how many times I said it already? I, I lost count. Actions are selling, and how many people are playing the game on a monthly basis? They're not just counting the new game. They're gonna be counting Everything. Modern Warfare 2, Modern mm -hmm. Warfare 3, Warzone, as well as Black Ops 6, all Facts. combined. So no Facts. matter what, they're always going to have good numbers, even if the current game is failing. Yeah. That's something they learned back during Call of Duty Ghosts. They have to avoid that kind of PR when Call of Duty Yeah, context, Call of Duty Ghosts was the first Call of Duty game ever. I believe that that was the last game, I should say. The last game to have the player count visible. You remember Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, right? On the menus, it would show you like the, the, the map like a heat map of where people were online and how many people were playing and i remember like you it used to be like millions of people playing at the same time like concurrent players right just like how black myth wukong for example in the recent memory just like how steam has that player count chart call of duty would have a live chart and it was actually very good you know it was very very good so yeah they they simply made good games so therefore people were playing the game call of duty ghost bombed and the player count was abysmal, and I believe that was the last game, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was the last game to have the player count on display, and that was so bad that they took it out completely. And in the last few years, you know, especially with Call of Duty WW2, Call of Duty Van Garbage, <laughs> Call of Duty Van Garbage, not bad guys, Bruh. but Call of Duty Van Garbage, okay? Call of Duty Van Garbage, Modern Warfare 2022 sold very well initially, but then ultimately bombed right after, right? Like, everybody started jumping shit, people, influencers that said that the game is the best game ever, you, you know, they started coming out, mo I'm talking about Modern Warzone, Modern Warzone also came out, Doug, everybody was saying that, yeah, the game trashed, because there was nothing going on. The those suckers took, Infinity Tart, by the way, it took five months to even drop a single new map. Bruh single new map like that make that make sense they took five months i'm not even exaggerating bro like that that was crazy modern warfare 2022 is what i'm talking about so those suckers took five months to drop one map things were really really bleak things got really out of hands and uh, you know i think they cooked up this idea that we need call of duty hq because warzone is free to play uh, and Warzone is definitely gonna have the most amount of people. They included Black Ops War, uh, Cold War into it, Mod if I'm not mistaken. Basically, every game that came out after the idea of Call of Duty HQ is in the bundle, in the mix. Probably Modern, or not Modern Warfare 19, but Black Ops Cold War. Uh, we also got Modern Warfare 2022, Modern Warfare 2023, Warzone, and this game is gonna be on it. So, you know, no matter if you pl no matter what game you play from these games that I mentioned, it's gonna count as a player count. And at the end, they're gonna be able to boast those numbers to their investors, and it it's gonna look good. And, uh, uh, and to be fair though, like, that's a genius idea. On Activision, it sucks for the consumers, it sucks for the gamers, you gotta download all of that, this and that, and it always tells you, oh, you're missing this pack, you're missing that pack, yeah. Like, it's taking thousands of gigs on your SSD, HDD, right? Yeah, this thing is crazy, but to be fair though, business-wise, it's a very genius, uh, genius idea though. To the ghost came out, it had a very negative reception. And back then, we actually had player numbers on each okay, individual yeah, platform. You could see how many people were playing the game. And maybe one month into the Call of Duty Ghost life cycle, it stopped being the most popular COD, <laughs> even though it was one month old. And more people were consistently playing Black Ops 2 because they played Ghost and they're like, yeah. No, this isn't for me. I'm going back to a good game because Black Ops 2 was fantastic. <laughs> Black Ops 1 was fantastic. I'd argue Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 are also fantastic, like Treyarch. I have such high hopes for Treyarch, you know, because yeah, they've man. often been the golden child of the Call of Duty scene, a team that can do no wrong, but if this is what they cooked up after four years, yeah, then I have to think there is something wrong with them, or possibly the kitchen that they're working in. Yeah, the beta itself yeah this, uh, to be fair though, I did enjoy my time for what it's worth though, probably not gonna really enjoy for too long though, Let me, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be keep, I'm gonna keep it real, right? Like, uh, but, but, it does not feel like a four years game. And my biggest criticism so far is that it does feel like Modern Warfare 2022, Modern Warfare 2023. It feels like that Infinity Ward made it. Why? Because of the UI and the way, you know, the kill feed, the way the HUD is and all that. It just feels so similar. And the maps all are, uh, maps also feels like Infinity Ward. Kind of, right? Y you feel what I'm saying? Like... But not fully like Infinity Ward. Feels like that Infinity Ward had a play in it. And, and I wanted a track game. I mean, damn, like, how hard is, is it to 
make a new game and differentiate uh, stuff, right? But I think it's because of the Call of Duty engine, the new engine they got with Modern Warfare 19. Ah, new engine! It's no longer new right now, but... Yeah. But yeah, you feel what I'm saying, right? And Call of Duty HQ, I think that's what's killing the novelty uh, factor for Call of Duty. Otherwise, like, yeah, Call of Duty gameplay is always good. Spawn traps, this and that, spawn, bad spawns. Probably gonna get fixed, though. But... What's not gonna get fixed is uh, the game feeling like a four year old or four years in development game. It doesn't feel like a four year game, man. So, so far has been such a roller coaster for the COD community. And I'm very interested to see how it's gonna play out over the course of the coming days as we get closer towards the end of the beta. And as always, I'll be here with you guys every step of the way as we get more information from Treyarch. Hopefully yes, they sir. have a yes, laundry sir. list of things. They guys, check out this video on the screen. This is recently what happened with Dr. Disrespect and the story is crazy, man. The homie Dr. Lupo went gang gang, he went bozo, he lost his mind on stream and, and he raged at Dr. Disrespect. It's very, very crazy. Check it out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.